Equipped with a 183mm monstrous cannon, this is the super tank with the largest cannon ever built in the world. In the annals of military history, certain weapons stand out for their sheer power and capability. Equipped with a massive 183mm cannon, this super tank holds a unique place in the history of armored warfare. It is known for its colossal gun, the largest ever fitted to a tank. It is the FV-4005 main battle tank. Developed by the British during the Cold War era, the FV-4005 gained notoriety for its immense firepower and imposing presence on the battlefield. The FV-4005, also known as the Stage II Conqueror Heavy Gun Tank, responded to the evolving threats and changing dynamics of armored warfare in the 1950s. Its development was influenced by the need for a tank destroyer capable of neutralizing heavily armored enemy vehicles at long ranges, including the formidable Soviet tanks of the time. The heart of the FV-4005 was its 183mm gun, known as the L-4A-1. The goal was to create a gun powerful enough to defeat 152mm of sloped armor plate at 2,000 yards, which was beyond the capabilities of existing guns. The gun fired high-explosive squash head ammunition and had a caliber of 183mm, or 7.2 inches. The sheer kinetic energy unleashed by the enormous shell could penetrate even the thickest armor, making the FV-4005 a fearsome opponent on the battlefield. The sheer size of the gun made the FV-4005 tank a sight to behold, and its firepower was unparalleled among contemporary tanks. Most of today's tanks use 120mm cannons, such as the Leopard 2, Challenger 2, Abrams and others worldwide. However, Rheinmetall recently released a tank prototype, the KF-51 Panther, equipped with a 130mm cannon. Back to the FV-4005 tank. Loading the ammunition for this gun was no easy task. The projectile weighed 145 pounds and was nearly 30 inches long. It had to be loaded separately from the case, which contained the fuel. Together, the projectile and case weighed a total of 213.75 pounds. The FV-4005 project was divided into two stages. Stage one was meant for experimentation and problem solving while Stage 2 would involve limited production for service use. Vickers, a renowned British engineering company, was commissioned to build one Stage 1 vehicle and two Stage 2 turrets. The Stage 1 vehicle featured a gun mounting system that could traverse 360 degrees, but due to recoil forces, firing was only safely possible within a limited arc to the front. It could elevate and depress between minus 5 and plus 10 degrees the vehicle also had a load assist system to help load the heavy ammunition. Both Stage 1 and Stage 2 vehicles were equipped with a tripod gun crutch on the front glasses plate and a recoil spade at the rear. These features ensured stability and controlled recoil during firing. Despite its formidable armament, the FV-4005 had its share of limitations. The tank was massive, making it a conspicuous target, and its lack of mobility meant it had to rely on strategic positioning to maximize its effectiveness.
The FV-4005 never saw active combat, as it was deemed impractical for the evolving nature of tank warfare. However, its presence on the military stage served as a deterrent, and its unique design and armament continue to capture the fascination of military enthusiasts and historians alike. The tank stands as a testament to the innovation and ambition of military engineers when the race for technological superiority was at its peak. So, the FV-4005, with its 183mm L4 gun, stands as a testament to the ceaseless pursuit of military superiority. While it may not have seen combat, its imposing presence and unprecedented firepower make it a memorable chapter in the story of armored warfare. The FV-4005 serves as a reminder of the lengths military engineers will go to create a weapon that, even if not practical, is an awe-inspiring display of technological prowess.